Hey YouTube, uh, making a little video. Uh, over the past week I went to the Indiana Comic Con March 13th through the 15th, 2015. Um, had a great time. I picked up some autographs, picked up some other stuff, trading cards, but I think I want to show you. Met a lot of good artists. One artist I really wanted to uh, me was Wiz Potashio. Um, got a meeting, got him to autograph some comic books. See his signature right there. Let's do another one. This is the Iron Man issue number one, Heroes Reborn. But um, the page I wanted him to autograph was this Hulk one. Right there. Right there. One of one. And this stands perfectly. I hope the sun's not blaring it. It's right there. Uh, one of my favorite comic books. <coughs> Here's another one. X-Men with Gabbett. And I got this one signed for a friend. She doesn't know just yet. So I'm going to mail that out to her. She's going to really like that. She can attend. And here <coughs> is... Where's autograph and art? He was the inker. What's some other stuff? I met this one dealer. He had a few sketch cards. Nothing that really appealed to me. But one thing that caught my eye was this. Boba Fett Slave 1. This is from one of the Star Wars Galactic Files Series 2 card set. When I saw that, I said, man, I gotta have it. I asked him how much. He said 20, I think it was 25 bucks. I was like, so. So, next time Jeremy Bullock's in town, I plan on getting an autograph by him right there. Okay? Because it'll pop once you write in white. Let's see what else do I have. By the way, when I get autographs, this is the pen I like to use. Oh, looks like someone's texting me. If you can see it. <clears throat> well, anyway, my prized possession of the whole show is this autographed, custom made Indiana Con 2015 truck. <clears throat> I did a video of how I made it. And I'll probably provide a link somewhere there. So if you want to watch me making it, Putting it together, you can click on that. But uh, some famous signatures, Mike Zek, he was there. Uh, he's known for the superheroes, Marvel comics. Um, and Red Eye, that's his nickname. He's the one, him and his group of friends made the Rancor. And I have video of that too. So I'll post all that. Scott Zambelli. Really like his artwork. Other signatures: Jay Lee, um, Adam Pauline. He was there. He's the one that made the poster for the convention. Of course, John Sokol, one of my favorite artists. I buy a lot of his commissions. Actually, I got some commission cards at the show from him. Of course, everybody's favorite, Joe Jesco. Phenomenal. He's working on a set for Marvel. And he gave me a sneak peek of his artwork. Oh man. Mind blowing. It's fantastic. It's a little behind schedule, but I tell you, it's going to be worth the wait. Thanks, Joe, for letting me see that sneak peek. He had his smartphone. I was going through the pictures. Phenomenal. And some of the other artists I met was Tony, Bill, of course, Scott. And some others, and they showed me some of the sketch cards that they were working on for future sets. Of course, I couldn't take pictures or videotape, but uh, they turned out pretty nice. So I think people are going to be pleasantly surprised. But talking about sketch cards, check out this custom one that John Sukup made for me. Is that not killer or what? There's Boba Fett. And if you look, it's like 3D-ish. It's popping up. It's made out of wood. 
Indiana Con, of course his name and table number. I just love it. Zero to ten, ten. And these are artist return cards. I can't show you the set because it's not out yet. But I can give you a little sneak peek. Let me cover it up here. IG88. Is that not bad or what? And I don't know if the camera's picking up, but if you look closely at the 2000 ship in IG8, they sparkle. It's like a little sparkle. What I'll probably do, I'll probably scan these. Let's do this one. Isn't that beautiful? Again, this is like a little wood piece. Sticks out like a 3D. This is Boba Fett when he was on Cloud City. Just love it. And if you look, it looks like a watercolor feel. And I just love John's work. Prices are reasonable. As a collector, you know, you don't, of course, if you have a family and kids, you got to spend your money wisely. It all depends on your priorities. I mean, if you got a house payment, <laughs> mortgage of course you can't go crazy just pick up the ones you really like and of course John phenomenal artist as well as I like his style and when you do a commission with John I think the longest I had to wait for a commission is probably a couple weeks some artists you have to wait months so it depends on your wait time if you want to if you want something quick go with John if you want something long term I mean go with the other artists but here, it's sort of like the 3D effect cards. One dealer had these, and I said, how much? I think he sold them for like 50 cents. I said, sold. The work alone is really hard. If you ever made specialty custom stuff, you know what I'm talking about. It's, um, many years ago, I bought a whole bunch of these in South Carolina from a dealer. And these popped up at the Indiana Cons. Imperial Guard. Um, I don't know if the camera's picking up, but they do have a very distinct 3D look. It's Quicksilver. It's one of my favorite right there. Now we have Cannonball. Actually, I love this one because it's like, it's like coming right at you. Okay. Now. Star Wars. Here's some of the Rancor cards. I believe the guy's name's John. It might be hard, but anyway, they call him Red Eye. He's right there in the middle. Then, of course, there's George Lucas, and I'm not sure who the other gentleman is. He was there too, I believe, at the show. But anyway, they made Roxy the Rancor. And I got some good video of that, which I'll post. But I got one autograph for myself, one for my son, and another one for a neighborhood boy who loves Star Wars. And the guys from the 501 Legion. Some, actually, I got I got three copies of each. One for me, my son, and neighborhood boy. But there's uh, looks like I got two. I'm sorry. We'll go through these. Uh, let's see. let's show the back. If you guys can see it. And what I'll do, I know a lot of people like scans or see what they look like up close. I'll scan these on the scanner and put them on the end of my video. So you guys can enjoy them. For the video, let's just look through them. There's the back side. 
And I talked to one of the, he looked like an Imperial Trooper. Um, he was trying to get into the club. And they're, I think they have like a screening process. So I wish him the best. Quickly here. This is a cool outfit. If you ever get to go to the convention or meet these guys in person, oh, I got, I got my picture with her, like a selfie. I highly recommend them. They're really cool. They're down to earth people. Chris here's red eye. Now, as I was leaving, I came to the Steeler. And she had a whole bunch of little figures here, which my I knew my son would love them. And I asked the lady, I said, how much? She said four for a dollar. I was like, so, let me have some of these. So I went through her buckets and bins, and uh, I think I got that on video too. Here's a cute little Jawa, little booger, look at him. He's even real little compared to the other ones. There's Lando and Tuscan Raider. Um, actually, let me set these up then videotape them. But I also got little ships. Little ships here. So I want to push pause. Let me get these set up and then we'll come back. Little burgers, right? Eh? 